Welcome to RP Hub. In this video, we'll discuss about how to use CMD sessions using Microsoft Power Automate. Generally, when we are working with project related requirement, CMD or command prompt is very much important part at the time of using sessions on command prompt. So we'll see here how we can use CMD automatically using Microsoft Power Automate. So let me run this flow and see how this flow will execute. Based on that, I will explain you in detail. Now execution has been started. This will read for few seconds. And after that, this will showcase the detail, a complete detail about command prompt. So generally here I've used CMD sessions. And after that, I've sent ping command on cmd sessions and then i added wait for some time and then read cmd session and display on message box so we'll build this flow from scratch so that it will be easy for you to understand how we can utilize cmd sessions using microsoft power automate which is in perfect no code or low code rp base 2. So first we will need such CMD sessions, open CMD session here. After that, I have to specify the path. For specifying the path, generally CMD will be installed in C drive, Windows, then system 32. So here I have to navigate it to till system 32 and that's done. Now this will create a variable for me to store the instance in CMD sessions, click on save. And after that, I will drag and drop right to CMD sessions. So exactly same variable this will use as a part of my parameter. And here I have to send just ping, ping command and then some IP address, which will try to connect with system one four. Instead of directly adding the static data, we can also use some variable to change the data. And after that, I want to add some wait time. So text to wait here, I will add, let's see. Request it. Request. timed out click on save and then i will drag and drop read from cmd and exactly same variable selected for reading the content and after that i want to display on message box so here write display message box and this is my output and maybe I will add CMD output. And here we'll select this as CMD output. Select, click on save. Save this flow and run the command and we'll see exactly the same result which we have seen at the time of starting the flow. Now this will start waiting till request timed out is out and then we have display message box. So this is how easier to build the flow without writing a single line of code in Microsoft Power Automate. So that's all from this video. Hope you enjoyed the thing. If you think so, this will be useful. Don't forget to share within your circle. Thank you for watching.